A great way to improve your social media marketing is by displaying your tweets on your website. This can help lead interested people from your site to your Twitter profile while making it more engaging. In this video, I'll show you the easiest way to add your tweets onto your WordPress website in beautiful feeds like this. Let's get started. The easiest way to add a Twitter feed onto your WordPress website is by using the Smash Balloon Twitter Feed Pro plugin. The plugin lets you create beautiful feeds from your Twitter timeline, from any Twitter hashtag, your Twitter lists, and more. You can purchase the plugin and download it from smashballoon.com. Once purchased, you can find your download link and license key inside your Smash Balloon account. Download the zip file for Twitter Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. And installing Twitter Feed Pro is just like installing any other plugin on WordPress. On the left-hand side, hover over Plugins and click on Add New. Next, go and click on Upload Plugin at the top. Here, you can upload the zip file that you just downloaded for Twitter Feed Pro like this. And click on Install Now. Once installed, we can also go and activate the plugin. And as we can see, Twitter Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. Before I show you how to create your Twitter feed, we first have to go and activate our license key. On the left-hand side, you'll now notice Twitter feed. Hover over it and click on Settings. Beside License Key, we can enter the license key that we got from smashballoon.com and paste it here. Once pasted, go and click on Activate. Awesome, our Twitter feed pro license is now active. We can begin creating our first Twitter feed. On the left-hand side, under Twitter feed, click on All Feeds. Next, go and click on Add New at the top. With Twitter feed pro, you can create a variety of different feed types. For example, you can create a feed of tweets from any user timeline, a feed of tweets from any public hashtag, or you can create a feed of your own Twitter home timeline as well. For this video, let's go with any user timeline and click on Next. Now it will ask us to connect our Twitter account to Smash Balloon. Click on Connect, and here you'll have to log into your Twitter account if you haven't already, and then click on Authorize App. And there we go, Twitter Feed Pro has now been connected to our Twitter account. And on this tip, we'll have to specify the Twitter account that we want to display on our feed. For this example, let's create a feed of the Starbucks official Twitter timeline. So we can type in at Starbucks, just like this, and click on Next. And now we'll have to select the template for the layout of our Twitter feed. We have options like the default, masonry cards, simple carousel, simple cards, and more below. For this example, let's first go with the simple cards option and click on Next. And just like that, we have a beautiful preview of our brand new Twitter feed in that simple cards layout that we just selected. All the latest posts for the Starbucks Twitter account are displayed in this feed. Before I show you how to embed this feed onto your web page, let me show you how you can customize it to really match your brand or website. On the left hand side, under the Customize tab, you can go into Feed Layout. Here you'll find options to modify the layout of your feed. You can see currently we've got the list layout selected, and that's showing all of our tweets in this beautiful single column list like this. Next, we have the Masonry layout, which shows all of our tweets in rows and columns in their original sizes like this. And lastly, we have the Carousel layout, which shows all of our tweets in this beautiful swipeable carousel like this. For this example, let's continue with the masonry layout. And just below that, you can specify the number of columns you'd like on desktop, tablet, and mobile as well. To change this, simply click on the drop down and select the number of columns you'd like to display. Straight away, our live preview will update to show what that would look like. And below that, you can also specify the number of tweets you want to display on your feed. Once you're happy with your changes, go and click on save on the top right corner. And if you want to have your own colors inside your Twitter feed, go and click on color scheme under the customize tab. And you'll notice at first that it's currently inheriting all the colors from your theme. Alternatively, you can go with a light theme like this, or a dark theme, or even a custom one where you can specify the exact colors you want for your Twitter feed, like this. Select the one you like the most, and click on Save on the top right corner. And you might notice that our Twitter feed also has a header at the top. This is customizable as well. On the left hand side, go and click on Header. As you can see, we have two different header styles you can choose from. Currently, we've got the standard header selected, which shows our Twitter profile picture, profile name, number of tweets, and number of follows as well, along with the follow button at the top. Alternatively, you can go with a text header like this, which is a much simpler, minimal header with text you can customize right here. And if you want to disable your header entirely, you can go and toggle this off right here. And once again, if you made any changes, go and click on save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to customize your Twitter feed, let's go and embed it onto a web page. On the top right corner, click on embed. Here you'll find a dedicated shortcode for your Twitter feed. Copy it and go and click on add to a page. From this list, you can select the page you want to embed it to and click on Add. Now on your page, you have two different options to embed your Twitter feed. You can either add a shortcode block like this and paste that shortcode that we copied earlier like this, or if you're using Block Editor, you can use our dedicated Twitter feed pro block like this. And you'll notice straight away that our brand new Twitter feed has now been embedded inside our web page. So we can go ahead and publish this and check out what it looks like on the front end of our website. And here we are on a live web page, and right in the middle, you can see that brand new Twitter feed that we just created, displaying all the latest tweets from the Starbucks Twitter account in the masonry layout that we selected. If I scroll down below, we have a load more button, 
that will load even more tweets inside our feed like this. But if you want to add your Twitter feed inside the sidebar or footer of your website, you can do that as well. Let me show you. Back inside the plugin, go and click on Embed on the top right corner. Copy the shortcode, and instead of clicking on Add to a Page, click on Add to a Widget instead. And that brings us into the WordPress Widgets menu. For this example, let's go and add our Twitter feed inside the footer of our website. To do this, you have the same two options as before. You can either paste the shortcode that we copied earlier into a shortcode block, or use our dedicated Twitter feed block like this. And instantly, you can see that our new Twitter feed has been embedded inside the footer. We can now save this and check out what it looks like on the front end of our website. And here we are back on our live web page, and we have that Twitter feed that we created earlier in the masonry layout right in the middle of the web page. And if I scroll down all the way to the footer, you'll see that we have a brand new Twitter feed inside the footer as well. So we've successfully created a beautiful Twitter feed and embedded inside the web page and inside the footer as a widget as well. If you have any questions about what we covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. If you need any technical support, please get in touch with our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thank you so much for watching.